Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is Metal Slug 3, and this is on the Neo Geo AES. This is the Neo Geo boot sequence. We have got a Giga Power on this game, uh, whatever that means. And this game is feast in Japan only, so I could be in terrible trouble. This is the title screen, and we're going to get straight into it. Um, it's an arcade uh, game, isn't it? So uh, it's not a lot of FMV and nonsense. We're straight into the character select. Strange looking people with bulgy eyes. And we're into normal Metal Slug territory. A run and gun shooter where we kill giant crabs on the beach with uh, rockets embedded in it. Um, Metal Slug 3 is probably the prettiest of the Metal Slugs on the AES. It's got a shit ton of animation, a shed load of content. Like the level's incredibly uh, complex in terms of roots and amount of graphics. I mean, it must have taken them at least three or four weeks to make all the graphics for this game, I imagine. If not, if not five weeks. Uh, this lady you can find wandering around in most levels. See, there's a branching path there. You could go down in the submarine if you wanted it, and you could fight some giant eels. And some more crab beasts. Um, we've got another branching path on this part coming up. But it's the same gameplay as you would have played on any other Metal Slug game. And uh, there are a few things which is a branching path which do make this game stand out. So the amount of content is one. Uh, production values. And um, some slight tweaks to the gameplay. So, I'm going to say it this game is actually highly frustrating to play. There's um, a, a few levels where there are enemies which take. They take the biscuit, they take the pea. Um, this, this level isn't one of them. This level is sort of enjoyable. The underwater bit is, is very cool. Um, the branching parts in the first level work best, I think. I'm dying continuously here. Um, it's unfortunate. I just sort of jumped to my doom. Um, this boat's coming in on the uh, divines here. Really cool. Yeah, the anime, all the, you can't fault the animation in this game. You can't fault it. You can't. And you know, just general presentation is awesome, uh, but there are some features which make this game borderline infuriating in comparison to previous Metal Slug games. I'll talk about that actually when we hit the next level, because uh, we're not going to take on this crab boss, which is uh, one of my favourite bosses in the whole of the Metal Slug games, just because it looks so cool. It doesn't make any sense. I mean. It's a crab with a tank on its back. But, or is it a lobster? I don't know, it's a crab or a lobster. But it's a, a mechanised cyborg crab lobster. You can't say fairer than that. He's got a massive cannon, which is now trying to lob bombs at me. And I'm shooting him in a chubby tank. Uh, when you get into the chubby tank, this game is actually fairly enjoyable, and there are a couple of different other vehicles you can get into. But as as a running around the screen soldier, it's actually fairly painful. I'm not doing very well in this game. I don't play. I'm not playing this particularly well. I'm just kind of randomly you know, dying where I wouldn't normally, which is um, frustrating. So here is the level that kills the game for me. Uh, this level also has branching paths in it, but. All the enemies take more than uh, three shots to kill, and um, you, for most of the level, are only equipped with your pea shooter gun, making this a tedious, tedious button bashing mess. Um, what the designers are intending for you to do here is to get turned into a zombie at every opportunity, which makes this level even slower and more boring. Um, could you get transformed into a zombie and you can untransform yourself? But 
Plague of Zombies slows the game down to incredibly sedate pace and makes you uh, an easy target and um, it's just incredibly frustrating. You can vomit blood as a zombie, which is you know, fine. But um, yeah, this level kills the pace of the whole game. And the fact that you have the pea shooter gun all the way through and no auto fire makes it incredibly tedious. Although you do get a monkey with an Uzi, so it takes one hand and gives with the other. The animation, you know, it's beautiful, but I'm, I'm not having fun in this level. And the boss is incredibly tedious. So now we've upgraded to Enemy Chaser, but we only get 33 of those, so that'll be gone within uh, seconds. Because it immediately puts you in to fight these uh, helicopters in a locked in screen. Uh, with people coming from the left and the right. There you go. That's enemy chaser gone. So now I'm back to my peak shooter with multi hit targets. And it's freaking boring. Yeah, Metal Slug 1 was perfectly balanced in terms of gameplay and where the weapons, your extra weapons appeared. They just threw, threw that eye out of the window with this. And they forced the player to uh, unreasonably uh, take on all sorts of situations with the PG at them. I don't know if you press and pause there, that would be weird. It's just much more satisfying when you've got a weapon which doesn't require you to hammer the fire button 50 million times a second just to kill a minor enemy. Uh, I'm not going to go Iceman. You go, there's a branching path there where you can go into a cave and um, ride a. Ele hairy elephant, what they're called. A mammoth. Oh, this is tedious. So I'm being turned into a zombie here. So I flamed the whole of that um, car thing and the zombie in it didn't die because the designers really want you to be turned into a zombie on this level. They try their hardest to uh, make sure you experience the boredom of walking through this game as a zombie. Thanks for that, designers. Yeah, they the design the designers were in this it's game day. It's a beautiful the most beautiful map stuff in NES, like I said. It's got um, good music. Some really cool tunes. Branching parts are cool. So much so much content. You can go a different route every time you play, it's groovy. Um, but some of the enemies are just awful. And some of the situations that they put you in are just they're not fun. It's just It actually physically strains you because of the, of the way the controls are set up. There's no auto fire. If there was an auto fire on this gun, it would probably be better. But there isn't. So it isn't. And these. these See, like it's desperate to turn you into a zombie. Slowing the game down. Again, you only get the pea shooter gun as a zombie. You can't power up as a zombie. So if a special weapon arrives and you're in zombie mode, you don't even get to use the special weapon. It's annoying. Vomiting blood is cool, but at what cost? This is the boss area now, and um, got a pea shooter. Got the old normal pea shooter gun. I've got no bombs left, and uh, I'm now going to shoot 17 different things for half an hour uh, without uh, the appearance of any damage to them. Beautifully animated things, uh, weird looking kind of um, stomachs, but you know what? I, I prefer I prefer it to have some sort of um, balance, please, in the gameplay department. Uh, anyway, the AES version of this game, which is the one I'm playing here, uh, is now ridiculously priced. It's two to three thousand pounds. You can get Metal Slug three. On many devices, uh, you can many compilations. Uh, then it's not worth three thousand pounds. No way, sir, is it worth that much money? Even conversions of this game, when they convert like the M MVS game to the AES game, um, like five hundred quid is stupid. Not worth the money. Absolutely not worth the money. Uh, you can get this on things like the PS2, original Xbox. You can get it on the Wii. You can get it on. I think you can get it in the eShop 
and, and the Nintendo stuff. Uh, possibly you can get it on Xbox and uh, PS4 and PS5 as well. But anyway, it's not worth 3,000 quid. You can see here, like, I know when it comes to continue, it throws in a, a heavy machine gun. But it's just too tedious. I am having to shoot you. And this is not even the boss. This is the pre-boss. It's taking me so long to kill these things. It's fucking boring. They really messed up the design on this game, I believe. In a bid to make it harder, um, it's a success. In a bid to make it more fun, it's an absolute failure. So I would say, if you want a great Metal Slug game, Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 2, or Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3 looks better than all of them, um, has more content than all of them, but it's not as much fun. And that's, um, so I can't, well, I can't recommend you buy an AES copy of it for £3,000, it's simply not worth it. But, um, it's worth a play, so if you can get it on a compilation or, uh, like a eShop or something, give it a crack for a couple of quid. But, um, expect to be very frustrated a lot of the time. Alright then, catch you later.